Hello, my CFA friends. How are you, my friends? I hope everybody's been uh, well. I haven't recorded any videos on the YouTube channel for a while, but I was starting to miss you guys, and I wanted to uh, bring something that occurred to me. Well, the other day I was having a lesson with uh, one of my students on Zoom, and he brought me a capital structure question, quite an easy question, but so many people asked me about this that I thought, actually, let's go over this question together. It's an institute question, so we're just going to go over it together and make sure that we all can do it. It's basically taking the debt to equity ratio of a company and then converting it to the weight of debt and weight of equity within the capital structure. So let's have a look. Okay, well, here is the question. I've obviously rewritten it for copyright reasons. So this is my version of the question. We have a company, ELS Limited, which has a debt to equity ratio of 0 0.2. And we are asked to determine the weight of equity in its capital structure. So is it going to be Alpha 77, Brava uh, 80, or Charla 83%? Okay, and obviously let's uh, attack the uh, elephant in the room here. Uh, this is not the actual weight of debt. So if you're just thinking, well, 1 minus 0 0.2 is 80%, and that's an option here, Unfortunately, it's not going to be that easy. In fact, we can already rule out 80% because that's clearly going to be a destructor. So the way we want to think about this question is, of course, our debt to equity ratio is simply debt over equity. What a shocker there. And that is 0 0.2, which you can think of as 0 0.2 divided by 1. Okay, or if you want to uh, think in terms of whole numbers, you can think of it as 2 over 10. That's also 0 0.2. So what we are saying essentially here is that for every 0 0.2 dollars of debt, we have one dollar of equity. Or said another way, for every two dollars of debt, we have ten dollars of equity. Okay, well, now let's say I wanted to calculate the weight of debt in the capital structure. Well, this is going to be given by our debt. So debt as a percentage of total assets, not as a percentage of equity, which is the same as saying debt over debt plus equity. And so here you have two choices. You can either use the decimals or the whole numbers. So if we're using the decimals, we're going to say for every $0.2 of debt, we then have $0.2 of debt in the denominator and $1 of equity. So effectively doing 0 0.2 over 1.2. If you're using the whole numbers for every $2 of debt, I've got $2 of e uh, debt and $10 of equity. So here I'm doing 2 over 12. And if I do that, I'm going to probably get 17%. Now, what does that mean? That means that the debt represents 17% of my capital structure. So once I've got that, I can then go ahead and do the weight of equity as one take away 17%, which of course is 83%, at which point I can circle uh, Charlie and move on with the rest of the paper. Okay, nice and short video for you guys. Obviously, the next exam is in February. So if you want to join me on my journey, please do so on my website, which is stoinov.co.uk for a very, very low monthly subscription. I don't believe there is a cheaper course anywhere on the planet when it comes to CFA. It's probably the best product out there, where at least I'm trying it to make it the best product out there. The only reason why I'm keeping the subscription so low is simply to 
uh, gain more customers and the prices will have to go up. So please subscribe, get started with your studies. I shall see you inside the portal. Until then, have a great day.